Welcome to this episode of Squawk on the Block Falcons. I'm Lexi. And I'm Seth. Although we are very ready for spring break, we can't leave without showing off all the hard work going on at Nation Ford. On this episode, we have summer jobs available to high schoolers, our brand new school store, and a profile on one of our senior athletes. All of this and more on this golden episode of Squawk on the Block. Golden? Just watch. Wow, Seth, I had no idea you'd look so good in a dress. Thanks, Lexi. We were really working it out there. Many high schoolers are looking for ways to make money, but it can be difficult to find jobs you'll actually enjoy. Here's Phoebe Howie with some tips on finding the perfect summer job. We all know about working at restaurants or theme parks, but did you know that you could have a fun summer job that could actually turn into a career? So Code Ninjas is a new business in Tiga K and they teach programming through jobs for students 7 through 14. So our high school students are paid to work with them and teach them by playing games they're learning. So it's very fun. Manufacturers pay really well. These are internships to start and then, and then apprenticeships. So apprenticeships are different than internships in that they're long term and they lead to a full career. Uh, but they are always paid where internships aren't always paid. Hospitals, nearly all of them have some form of a volunteer program where you can go and learn in various departments through the summer. Even if you're not looking for a career job, there are many opportunities provided for students over the summer. However, they require planning, preparation, and a little bit of hard work. Well, you have to decide what you're interested in, and Mrs. Bonnie Clefman is here to help. If you don't know what you want to do, she can help you explore that with certain tools that she has. And then once you're pretty sure what you want, if you wanted to say meet two different professionals and I can help you get out there and do a good informational interview where you ask intelligent, thoughtful questions. But the preparation doesn't end there. Once you land an interview, you always want to learn as much as possible about the person conducting the interview. You can go on LinkedIn.com to help you learn about the person interviewing you and to see if their career is what you would like to do in the future. When going to an interview, be sure to dress appropriately. Guys should wear a collared shirt with nice pants, and girls should wear an appropriate blouse with dress pants or a skirt. Well, you only get one chance to make a first impression, right? And people size you up by how you look, whether you want to believe that or not. So regardless of how you dress with your friends, it's really important to dress professionally. And if you overdress, so be it. I don't think that's a sin. I think that's actually better than underdressing. Most importantly, come prepared, be interested, be alert, and always ask questions. For Squawk on the Block, I'm Phoebe Howie. While a summer job is very exciting, summer is still 57 days away, and we have some of our fellow Falcons here at work already at Nation Ford. Our brand new school store has the best supplies for teachers and students to purchase. Plus, it benefits an awesome group of our students. Here's Jessica Vanderwalker with more. As teenagers, we have a busy agenda each day, whether that includes friends, classes, or activities. So during flex, it can be very easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of our own daily lives. But have you ever thought to take a second to stop by the new school store? The school store is ran through the special services teacher, Ms. Niedermeyer, and her students. Our school store was started in January, the, some of the students here at Nation Ford, to make them be more productive and to be prepared for class. Even though it has only been open for a couple of weeks, it has already had a big impact on teaching the students important skills like employability and managing funds. We are trying to work on time management, the adaptability, customer service. We also get into the business aspects of inventory and retail and money and making change. Not only does it teach them these valuable lessons, but it's something these students truly enjoy. Um, 
my my favorite thing about the school store is to work and make some money. So before you go searching around your classes when you need a pencil, be sure to stop by the Commons during Flex to pick some up and support a good program at the same time. For Squawk on the Block, I'm Jessica Vanderwalker. While our school store offers a variety of new products, ordering things online may not always be what it seems. Here's Frank Martinez to test out some interesting products you may have seen on TV and let you know if they work. We've all seen those as seen on TV commercials for strange products and it makes us wonder, does it work? Well, we're gonna take a look at a few of those products today, put them to the test, and find out which ones actually work. First up is the sock slider. The idea for this contraption is to help you put socks on without having to bend over. It's all set up, now let's give it a try. Next up, the perfect brownie pan. The idea for this is to be able to make perfect brownies every time. The brownies are ready, now let's see how they came out. Lastly, we have Flex Seal Tape. The idea for this product is that the tape will stop any leak instantly. The bucket is getting filled, let's see what happens. A perfect three out of three. Does it work? Yes, it does. For Squawk in the Block, I'm Frank Martinez, and this has been Does It Work? I never would have thought as seen on TV items could have been useful. Especially with something as unique as a sock slider. On the topic of unique things, most people associate track and field with running and hurdles, but that's only a fraction of the team's contributions. Here's Cassidy Seiden with further information on one of our senior athletes reaching new heights. What most people don't know is that track and field is made up of a total of 17 events, one of those being pole vaulting. Chandler Burns, a senior at Nation Ford, is a state qualifier in this event. So pole vaulting is basically when you get a really long pole, usually made out of fiberglass, and you exert force into it by sprinting towards the pit. You bend it and it shoots you up over certain bars depending on the height. Jumping over a bar over 14 feet in the air seems difficult for most, but for Chandler, it's nothing. My mindset has changed in the fact that I used to do this for fun and now I realize I kind of had something that I could work with and I've turned it into basically my passion. Practicing for more than 20 hours a week has allowed Chandler to reach new heights in his athletic career for both the school and in life. For Squawk on the Block, I'm Cassidy Seiden. You can watch Chandler and our other track competitors in action against Fort Mill on April 10th. That's it for this episode, Falcons. For Squawk in the Block, I'm Seth. And I'm Lexi. Have a great spring break, and we'll see you next time.